everyone in this video let us discuss about the need of sampling and quantization in digital image processing so we all know that most of the time the output of the image sensors are in the form of analog signal right so here the problem is that we cannot apply digital image processing and its techniques on analog signals so that is the reason we cannot store the output of the image sensors which are in the form of analog signals because it requires infinite memory. Uh, to store a signal so that we can have infinite values. So what do we try to do? We try to convert this analog signal into a digital signal. Right, so how to create a digital image? So we have to convert the continuous data into its digital form, right? We have to convert the analog signal into a digital form, right? So here, there are two processes. One is about sampling and the another one is about quantization. What is meant by sampling? Sampling means digitization of coordinate values. What is quantization? Digitalization of amplitude values, right? So what digitization we do in sampling? We do digitization of continuous values that you can see over here. What is meant by quantization? Here we digitize amplitude values, right? So let us understand the differences between sampling and quantization in detail. So what is meant by sampling? right so here what we do is we digitize x-axis in sampling so let me draw a simple diagram and explain the concept to you so this is how it looks like basically so in x-axis time and in y-axis we have voltage right so here you can see that let me draw that Right. So what are these basically successive sample points, right? So here we digitize x-axis in sampling, right? We digitize x-axis in sampling and it is done on the independent variable, right? We all know that x is an independent variable, right? So for example, if I take y is equal to sine x, right? For example, if I take y is equal to sine x, it is done on x variable, right? So there are some variations in the sampled signal which are random in nature. So these variations are due to the noise. So how can we reduce the noise? We can reduce the noise by taking more samples. More samples means what? We have to collect more data. More data means what? We have to collect more pixels, right? So in, in case of an image, we have to collect more pixels which will eventually result in better image quality with a less noise present, right? So we all know that pixel is the smallest element in an image, right? So that is what we have seen before. Pixel is the smallest element in an image and for an image represented in the form of metrics, how to find out the total number of pixels? So let me take a whiteboard now, right? So we can say that the total number of pixels is equal to, how can we find out the total number of pixels? That is nothing but total number of rows into total number of columns, right? Fine. So the number of samples taken on the x-axis of a continuous signal refers to the total number of pixels of that image. That is what I try to say over here, right? Now, in case, if it is a CCD array, uh, the number of pixels is equal to the number of samples taken so that we can say that the number of samples taken is equal to the number of sensors on a CCD array, right? So let me write that number of uh, sensors, sorry, number of sensors on CCD array is what? that is equal to number of pixels. 
which is also equal to number of samples taken. Right. So here, over sampling is used for zooming. Right. So uh, basically, the difference between sampling and zooming is that sampling is done on signals, while zooming is done on the digital image. Right. So we should understand the difference between uh, quantization as well as sampling. So I said that sampling is done on the x-axis. Right. So the quantization is basically done on the y-axis, right? So that is the difference we basically should know. And as I told you before, like, uh, as I told you before, like uh, digitizing the amplitude uh, uh, is basically the quantization, right? So in this, actually, what we do is we divide the signal amplitude into quanta, right? So we we divide the we divide the signal amplitude into quanta or partitions, right? So let us also try to understand the relation of quantization and gray level resolution. So how do you find out the uh, number of quantas? Number of quantas. So basically, the number of quantas is equal to number of gray levels. Right. So the number of gray levels here means the number of different shades of gray. So in case we have to improve the image quality means the number of uh, gray levels or gray level resolution up. So in case if you raise this to 256, it is known as the grayscale image. So basically it can be written as L is equal to 2 power K. Right. So what does L stand for? L stands for gray level resolution and K stands for gray level. So gray level means that is the number of uh, bits per Excel, which is also equal to the number of levels per Excel, right? So this is a short introduction about uh, uh, sampling and quantization. Now let us try to study that in detail, right? So uh, as we have discussed in digital image processing, the signals are basically captured from the physical world that has to be converted into the digital form, right? So this is this process is basically called as digitization process. So to do that, we have to do two methods. One is called as sampling and the next one is basically called as quantization, right? So what is meant by sampling? Sampling means digitizing the coordinate value. What is meant by quantization? Digitizing the amplitude value, right? So typically a frame grabber or digitizer is used to sample and quantize the analog video signal, right? So here uh, we should also understand that an analog image is basically continuous and uh, not just in its coordinate axis, but also in its amplitude, which means what I'm trying to say is it is continuous, not only in the X axis and also in the Y axis, right? So this is what I try to mean over here. So the part that deals with the digitizing of coordinates is known as uh, sampling, right? So in digitizing, sampling is done on the independent variable, right? So as I told you, if y is equal to sine x, it is done on the x variable, right? So uh, like uh, the way what I have shown you, there you can see that there are some random variations in the signal that is being caused by the noise. So in sampling, we reduce the noise by taking the samples. By, by taking the samples in the sense, we have to collect more data and the noise would be more removed uh, when the quality of the image uh, you know, tries to improve, right? So if we take sampling on the x-axis, the signal is not converted to digital format unless you take sampling on the y-axis too. That is basically called as quantization. So sampling has the relationship with the image pixels. That is what we have seen, right? So the total number of pixels is equal to what? Number of rows into number of columns. So let me give an example so that it will be clear to you, right? So say, for example, I have a, a total of uh, 36 pixels, okay? I have uh, 36 pixels, right? So in that case, I can say that uh, we have a square image of six cross six, right? So in sampling, more samples eventually result in more pixels. So it means that 
uh, for our continuous signal, we have taken 36 samples on x-axis. That refers to 30, 36 pixels of this image, right? The number sample is directly equal to the uh, number of sensors on CCD array, right? Fine. So now let us uh, also uh, try to understand about quantization. So what happens in uh, quantization basically, right? So quantization is just opposite to sampling because it is being done on the y-axis, right? Uh, so while sampling is done on the x-axis. So here, what do we try to do? We try to transform a real valued sample image to one taking only an infinite number of distinct values. So here under the quantization process, the amplitude of the image varies, right? Uh, uh, and uh, the amplitude values of the image are digitized. So when you are quantizing an image, you are actually dividing signal into quanta, right? So we are dividing the signal into, into quanta, right? So we should also try to understand how quantization is being done, right? So what we do over here is uh, like uh, mm, we, I, we assign uh, uh, levels to the values generated by the sampling process. Uh, here in the image showed in sampling explanation, the samples has been taken, but they were still spanning vertically to a continuous range of gray level values. So, so here we can see that the vertical ranging values have been quantized into uh, five different levels or partitions. So ranging from black to white. So it is ranging from zero to four basically, right? So this level could vary according to the type of image that we want. So here there is a relationship between quantization with the gray level resolution. This quantized image uh, represents five different levels of gray. And that means that image formed from the signal would only have five different colors, right? So it would be a black and white uh, image more or less with the same colors of gray, right? So when we want to improve the quality of the image, we can increase the levels assigned to the sampled image. So in case if I uh, increase this level to 256, it means that I have a grayscale image. So whatever the level uh, which we assign is called as gray level. So most digital uh, IP devices uses quantization into uh, 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 L or uh, some people call it as uh, K, right? Uh, equal intervals. So if, uh, if there are this, uh, yeah, let me write it small L no, so that I can make a difference over here. So if L bits uh, per pixel are used, I can say that number of quantas or number of quantization levels is equal to two power small L, right? So what is this L? This L means that bits per pixel, right? So the number of quantization levels should be high enough for human perception of fine shading details in the image. So the occurrence of uh, false contours is the main problem in image, which has been quantized with insufficient brightness levels, right? Uh, so uh, that is what we have to understand. And also the sampling uh, rate determines the uh, spatial resolution of the digitized image, right? So while the quantization level determines the number of gray levels, so that is the basic difference, right? So in sampling, actually, uh, it depends upon, it determines the spatial resolution, uh, but actually the quantization level determines the number of gray, le gray levels. So a magnitude of the sampled images expressed as a digital value in image processing. The transition between the continuous values of the image function at its digital equivalent is called as quantization, right? So the number of quantization levels should be high enough for human perception of fine shading details. So the uh, this is what I said, the occurrence of false quantas is the main problem in the image, which can be quantized with insufficient brightness levels, right? So basically the sampling is the reduction of continuous to discrete. This is what we have to understand, continuous to a discrete time signal. And sampling can be done for functions varying in space, um, time or any other dimension and similar results are obtained in two or more dimensions. 
so it can be done in two forms it could be spatial as well as temporal and spatial is uh, the choice for 2d resolution of an image whereas temporal is the adjustment of the uh, exposure time of the ccd so, so as as i told you sampling is basically done on x axis infinite values are converted to digital values right so this is what we have seen so basically sampling is the reduction of continuous time signal to discrete here the values on the y axis uh, that is y axis means immediately you have to connect it to amplitude right uh, but and also continuous but the time or x axis is discretized right so sampling is done prior to the quantization process uh, the sampling rate determines the uh, spatial resolution of the digitized image so it reduces the continuous curve uh, to a series of 10 poles over time right so in the sampling process a single amplitude value is uh, uh, selected from uh, different values of the time interval to represent it right so the quantization is basically the process of uh, uh, mapping input values from a large set to output values in a smaller set. Uh, it is with a finite number of elements. So this is just the opposite of sampling. It is done on y-axis, right? So whenever we quantize an image, we are actually dividing a signal into quanta, right? So on the x-axis of the signal, the coordinate values are taken and on the y-axis, we have taken the amplitudes, right? So this is the basic difference between sampling and quantization, uh, right? So quantization makes the sampled signals uh, truly digital and it, it keeps it ready for uh, uh, processing by a computer, right? So in quantization, uh, time or x-axis is continuous uh, and the y-axis or amplitude is discretized, right? So quantization is basically done after the sampling process, right? So the quantization level determines the number of gray levels in the digitized image, right? So quantization reduces a continuous curve into uh, stair steps. So that what are uh, stair steps that exist at the regular time interval? Here, uh, the values will be rounded off uh, to create a defined set of uh, possible, uh, possible amplitude values, right? So this is the smallest uh, video. Uh, to make you to understand the uh, need for sampling and quantization and to understand the uh, differences between sampling and quantization all right uh, so hope it is uh, clear to you